I want to share something with you. Uh, it's interesting because a lot of people they would perceive entrepreneurs take a lot of risk, right? They they take crazy amount of risk. They they bet everything they've got. They put everything on the line that they have for to start the business, to pursue whatever dreams that they have. And to a degree that is true, but I think more so for beginning entrepreneurs. But more experienced entrepreneurs like myself,、uh, actually, we do not like risk. One thing I've learned in business is business success is not about doing a lot of smart things. Business success is about doing less dumb things. Because you, you think about for most successful people's career, you'll notice if you study their their whole lives, you'll notice they actually most of us we make a couple key moves in a few critical times. It is not like we do a hundred things perfectly and a hundred things executed perfectly. Usually, it's about hey, I made this decision to get into this industry, or I made that decision to launch that new product, or I hired this person, or I met that person. It's a few what I call defining moments that shape the entire lives and careers, right? But what is what doesn't work for a lot of people is they make a lot of dumb mistakes. The problem is with dumb mistakes is. The bounce back time. It's not just making the mistakes. How much the mistake costs is how much it takes for you to solve that, learn from that, and then bounce back. Right? It's the do over that's very costly. Right? If you start a business, you fail, you go bankrupt. Well, it takes you probably years to get back to where you were, just back to normal. Right? That do over costs a lot of time, and every single do over takes a lot of time. So you think about if it's about Doing less dumb things and not doing a bunch of smart things. You need to do a couple of smart things, a couple of key moves, but it's about doing less dumb things. If that's the case, then you got to think about risk and reward. And a lot of entrepreneurs get into trouble. Even smart entrepreneurs get into trouble because of one word: greed. They get greedy. They bet, they risk something that they have to pursue something they actually don't need. Right. I was reading a, a, a piece of news actually on the internet、uh, that a successful entrepreneur actually in Hong Kong have a very successful business, but they got into the stock market、uh, over leverage,、uh, a bunch of margin calls, and lost everything he has. Not only he owes now millions and millions of dollars, but lost his core business. His core business is successful, but because he wants more, because of greed, he bet everything he's got. He over leveraged. For this particular investment to bet on the stock market, and then lost not only from the stock market but his core business. That's very very sad. He could avoid that by understanding the risk and reward kind of kind of ratio. Understanding how do you take calculate the risk. In, in in from my perspective, I do not like risk at all. And in, in fact, anything that I do, the first thing I think about is not how much money I would make. I think about how much money I could potentially lose. So I want to give you and leave you with a few questions before you make any decision, especially financial decision, business decision, right? A a money decision. Ask yourself these three questions, okay? How much money could you potentially lose? Now, how much money you could make? How much money could you potentially lose? What is the downside? What is the downside? Not being being overly optimistic is easy to be overly optimistic. What is the downside? And the third question is, can I live with the downside? Think about this entrepreneur. If he was to ask himself, "Hey, you know, what could I potentially lose?" Well, everything. If I was to bet on this, right, over leverage, I could potentially lose my core business, lose everything I've built over the years. He would have said, "No, that's not very smart, right? Right? What is the downside? The down downside is I could be living on the street. Can I live with the downside? The answer should be no." Then, if he asks himself with these questions and have this thinking process, he would weight the risk and, and reward ratio. He would not have even done that in the first place. He would have said, "Okay, if I'm going to invest, I'm going to take a percentage of that. Even if I lose that, doesn't it, it wouldn't it wouldn't bankrupt my business? I wouldn't lose everything, and I still could live with a downside. Okay, good. I'll make that investment. Versus you let greed, your emotion, talk over and say." Oh, screw that! This could make me so much more money in this short period of time, right? He forgot the risk and reward ratio.
Hi, this is Dan Locke. We're looking to invest $10 million in 100 tech startups in the next three years. You could be one of them. If you are a founder of a tech startup, if you are looking for financial capital, guidance, and mentorship, go to www.danlockventures.com to see if you qualify.